Hey guys, Josh with Metal in Motion back at you with another video. Today I wanted to show you a very interesting thing that happened on this Easy Go golf cart. So a couple videos ago, I think it was my how to diagnose a small engine that's not running video. I'll put a link in the description. I mentioned that I don't like resting the spark plug against the side of the engine and cranking the engine over and seeing if I have spark uh, because sometimes you can have spark outside of the cylinder, but when you put it under pressure, under you know 100 to 150 PSI of pressure, you're not gonna have spark or it's gonna be erratic. And then here we are a week later, I'm trying to diagnose this uh, easy go golf cart. It appears just to be carburetor, but something gave me the hunch that it was timing. It was the way it was backfiring and stuff like that. And I switched the spark plug out. Now, I tested the spark plug when it first came in and it was firing perfectly, but I did the laying the spark plug against the side of the engine and seeing if I had spark at the uh, the spark plug itself. No problems. But clearly there was a problem when it went into the engine because this thing ran horribly. And I'm going to try to replicate that now. So to fix it, I sw switched out another spark plug and this thing has been running perfect ever since. So uh, let's see if I can replicate this to show you guys. Okay, so here we are. This is the old spark plug, the one that gave me problems. And, you know, aside from the fact that you know, fuel could potentially come out here. I've got a, a, a spark that's lighting here. I could have an explosion. Beside from the fact of it just being dangerous, um, here is it working. All right, so we got spark now. It is yellow. Okay, I am on the fence about this whole yellow, dark blue, dark purple spark. You know, hotter spark is darker colored. Okay, I guess I'm probably more on the fence that that's true, but I heard somewhere say that the, the spark depends on the atmosphere and the atoms that it's atomizing and it'll change color depending on humidity and different things like that and so if you think about when it's in the um when it's in the engine i do know that the the old days for the volkswagen some of those old cars they had the color tuned spark plugs that had the clear um threads on them you could actually see the explosion inside the chamber look it up on youtube i think it's called color tune spark plug or something like that and the combustion flame would change color depending on how rich or how lean your mixture was and so the the ideal mixture was when it went from yellow which is kind of what this is up to like a, a dark blue or dark purplish kind of color and that was a, a much more uh you know maybe closer to stoichiometric you know mixture or whatever so anyways, but I want to show you guys on here. Uh, we do have fire. It's clear, but let's put this in and see what it does. So we've got the old spark plug back in. We just seen that we had fire on that spark plug. I'm gonna pull my choke out right here. I've got my foot on the gas pedal and notice what the engine does. Nothing is running. I can choke it. Hear the backfiring. Kind of wanted to go. Started to. Nothing. All right. I'm going to switch the old, the new spark plug back in it, and we'll see how it runs. Here's a shot at the two spark plugs. Now, this engine is running rich. I'm not sure why, because the air filter is clean. But the uh, this one right here, this is the BP-4, yes. This one right here on the end is the old one that we've seen it was firing, but when we put it in the engine, it does not work. It backfires. The one on the left is a new one I just put in yesterday, and I've driven it a little bit, but it's already getting very sooty. So I might need to check and see what I can do about uh, leaning this up a we little put bit. put the new plug back in it, which is a little bit carboned over, uh, a little bit, it's got a little bit of soot on it, so it's running rich, but we're going to see that the engine is functioning like it should. Here's the new spark plug. I didn't even have to choke it. There you go, guys. That is why I do not fully rely upon checking spark through the spark plug by just simply resting it against a good ground or the, you know, the side of the engine head or something like that. Just because you have spark on the outside doesn't mean you have spark on the inside. When you put it under compression and uh, all that stuff inside the cylinder, it just goes funny. I don't know. So anyways, um, I'm gonna put a link to the other video where I mentioned why I don't like that. Check that video out. And uh, as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys later.